This original film follows these GIs from the quayside of the UK to the beaches of Normandy. The landing on Omaha Beach in 1944 was the hardest fought and most costly of the D-Day landings. The exact number of American casualties is unknown. The Fifth Corps history gives a conservative estimate of 694 dead, 331 missing and 1,349 wounded, a total of 2,374, the highest suffered on any of the D-Day beaches. The film shows American troops arriving in two convoys at a hard at Northern on the River Itch and near to the present football stadium in Southampton. Most first-hand American accounts of the fighting emphasize the role played by the NCOs and junior officers who inspired their men to, to cross the deadly beach zone and fight their way up the bluffs. As we got closer to the shore, uh, the British uh, guys in our boat were kind of saying, is, saying to us, you know, we're going to drop this ramp and as soon as we do we're going to back out so you guys better be ready to get off the ship and because our instructions are to get you in and, and for us to get right out so that the other teams coming in behind you, we don't create a traffic problem. I seem to remember that when the boat finally hit what sounded like the sand or the shore, the ramp was down. Lieutenant Anderson was the first off the boat with the riflemen, one of which was Alexander Dominguez. And I remember in the next few seconds or so, in my getting off the boat, I saw Alexander Dominguez had been shot and was laying in the, in the water and sand. Uh, everybody did supposedly what they had to do, the riflemen were fanning out, but the casualty rate was, was very bad. The firing from the shore, and we did, couldn't determine where it was coming from because I think there was something like a hundred yards of open beach ahead of us, uh, and all we could see were some of the village uh, some in the in the along the shoreline, a few homes uh, looked like summer beach type homes. Uh, we didn't know whether the firing was coming from there or whether it was coming from the top of the hill or where it was coming from or where it was coming from. And I, I can remember just dropping my, uh, myself into the, on the sand and taking my rifle and firing it at this, this house up there. And Sergeant Wilkes uh, said to me, what are you firing at? I said, I don't know. I don't know what I'm firing at. I can remember Lieutenant Anderson, who at that point was, must have been about 25 or 30 yards in front of us, waving his hand and signaling us to move forward. And then there was no more sign of, of his, of any activity from him. Uh, most of the men in the boat team were either wounded or, or dead. The tide uh, and the channel, I, I, I'm, I seem to remember, rose very rapidly. I didn't see anybody except Gil Murdoch who was laying next to me and the water was coming in rather rapidly and I said to him, Gil, how do you feel? He said, I, 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 I can't see, I lost my glasses. And I said, well, can you swim? He said, no, I can't swim too well. I said, well, look, we can stay here. There's nobody around here that's, that seems to have any idea what to do, I said, let's go back in the water and come in with the tide because at that point I had lost all my equipment. I didn't see really anybody from our company after that until the next day. And when we all got together the sometime in the early morning of June 7th in that stone quarry, I met General Coda and I had a brief conversation with him when he asked me what company I was with in my regiment and told him he just shook his head because he knew better than I that 
Company A was practically, uh, uh, well, was out of action. When we did get together, there were eight of us left from Company A, and I think out of the four companies in our battalion, uh, um, infantry companies, uh, we were able to put together the equivalent of a, of a company. Maybe not quite. But in any event, uh, there were eight of us left from our from Company A, not all of which had been killed, but all of which were ready for, for duty the next day.